Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and welcome to the 1904 Lounge ahead of this afternoon's Skybet Championship game between the Tigers and Birmingham City. Welcome to all of you who are recognised from Tuesday night after that amazing win. And let's hope we can crack on and do it against the Blues here today. My name's Steve Jordan. I'm about to introduce you to two former players to have a bit of a chat about the 90 minutes we're about to see. Firstly, club ambassador for the Tigers, back again after a very happy Tuesday night. Please, would you put your hands together for Dean Windus. And representing Birmingham City today, a man who on his Blues debut scored and then scored and scored again for the next five games. Briefly a Tiger in 2011. Please would you welcome former striker Dele Adebola. Hi. Welcome back in the few years since you've been here. How's things been? What, what are you up to Dele? Oh, just lots and lots of coaching. I've um, done a little bit of radio in the in the Midlands, and um, a little bit. Of, I'm sponsored by a company just to promote the the company for them as well. So, um, little little bits all over the place. So, how much do you know about Birmingham City? How much have you seen of them this season? Um, I've been been to watch them a couple of times. Um, they're, they're doing fantastically well. After last season, almost getting relegated. Well. It looked as if it was going to be a relegation battle and then they picked themselves up and finished 10th. This season has been a total turnaround of form. They're right up there, second place, riding high. Not with the biggest of squads and that might cause them a problem later on in the season. So where do you see the threats coming from today? Uh, Damari Gray, I, 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 there will be um, quite a lot of clubs looking at him. He's a very talented youngster and he will cause Hull a lot of problems. I forgot how tall you were. So, for the moment, I'm going to go to Dean, no offence. <clears throat> um, Tuesday night was great, wasn't it, against Ipswich? We, we need to crack on and, and carry on in that vein, don't we? Yeah, well, like we said on Tuesday, Ipswich were very poor. It'll be a different test today. You know, it, these are the ones where, you know, you'll find out where we will be at the end of the season, because like Deli just said, they're in a great richer form at the minute. Gary Rowett's done a great job. Uh, it's going to be a proper game. It's pouring down with rain, a little bit of wind. Proper game of football today. Big six-pointer. Now, you said the Ipswich weren't that great, and they weren't. However, Steve Bruce and a couple of other players during the week have come out and said, actually, that was our best performance of the season. Yeah, we've kept a clean sheet. We've scored three goals. Anything like that today should see us home. I agree, sort of, after half an hour, 20 minutes, half an hour, when, obviously, we got the goal, then the confidence grew. Um, and if they said that was their best performance, then the, the change room's happy. So, and we... we you know, I don't know if Delhi knows this, but we haven't been beat at the KC this season. So hopefully that may continue and, and stay up there. In, you know, in the top six, you know, you're not going to get promoted today, and you're not going to get relegated today. So it'll be a tough test, like you say. Birmingham probably going to be up there at the end of the season. Like Delhi just said, they haven't got the biggest squad in the world, so that might just you know hinder them a little bit. But it's about us today again. We're at home. You know, it'll be a big crowd. I think Birmingham are bringing a few today as well, so it'll be. A little bit better atmosphere from Tuesday night because it was a bit quiet, yeah. a bit dull, wasn't it? But hopefully today our supporters will know that Birmingham are going to be probably a better threat than Ipswich was. One in force change, Curtis is going to be out for a while. Alex came in and did the business. Would you see any reason at all, as we don't know the teams yet, as to why Steve would change anything else? Well, it was interesting that he left, uh, he changed three on, on Tuesday night with David Marler coming in as well and scoring a great goal. So he's got a decision to make today. Obviously, Curtis is out, so Alex will just fit straight in there anyway. Um, but I'm sure he'll stick with the 4-4-2 system, with, with obviously the two centre-forwards. Uh, and Anders and Akpom. I couldn't tell you what the midfield will be. You know, will he bring back the army? Will he bring back Tom? You know, that's the that's big question. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what the, uh, what the team is. Dealey, we did mention, of course, you were a former Tiger three, four years back. What, what, what do you remember about your experiences here at the KC? Um, I remember coming and seeing fantastic stadium, fantastic fans. Um, you know, we, we had a real goal. Pearson was the manager, and I think just what he did at the beginning of that season got him the move to Leicester. Barnby took over straight after and carried on. You know, it was they were, um, unlucky not to get into the playoffs that year. Yeah. Yeah. However, of course, there was that big game at Wembley. I, I believe you, you played in that, that game at Wembley. I, my memory's going a little bit, Dean. Didn't you score a goal or something? Well, I, I scored and played in it. And yeah. did, did he play for them as well? Apparently, I think, I think you were playing for Bristol City that day, weren't you? 
Yeah, yeah. Don't remind me about that game, please. <laughs> <laughs> OK. I'm, he's a big fella, isn't he? I'm not... Right, what, yeah, what you... was, well, me and Delhi obviously have not played against each other years and years, and then they ended up coming to Bradford City as my strike partner. And you know that season, I think I scored about 27 goals because of because of him. Because I, I obviously was always the target man. Um, but then when Colin Todd brought Delhi in, um, he became the the one who got all the bumps and the bangs, and I got the glory. So if you want to be for him, I want to got all my goals really. So he's saying really nice things about you. Have you got anything nice at all to say about him? No, I mean, he was a quality finisher and, and maybe Colin Todd recognised that he needed a foil, a foil um, someone to take the, the bangs, like he said, so he could go about his business. And from there, he went on, kept scoring and scoring and scoring. I think, you know, I can't remember what age he retired at, but he was scoring goals right till he finished and stuff. So, I mean, real quality, real quality. Wow, we're not going to get you out of the room, are we? That's amazing. Can we bring him back? <laughs> <laughs> so... Big game, three o'clock, and this is a six-pointer. What do you think the score is going to be, Daly? Oh, I'd have to say a draw. I think both both sides would fancy themselves and will feel really, really confident. But I can see um, the two sides cancelling cancelling each other out. Maybe a one-one, possibly, probably a nil-nil. I think on a day like today, we'd probably take a point at the least. What do you think, Dean? Well, I I wouldn't because we're playing at home. We've got all that confidence playing at home. Um, you know, supporters expect us to win at home now because of the run that we're on. Um, I, you know, you, you know me. We, we always get the prediction wrong. Yeah. Um, so I'm just going to say we'll, we'll win to the. Okay, that's like good. That, yeah. You like that? Fine. Are there any Birmingham fans here, by the way? Just to. Oh no! First time this season. That's yeah. good. Would you please put your hands together for our two guests today, from Birmingham City, Dele Adebola, and of course, Tigers Club Ambassador Dean Windus. Cheers, fellas.